Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have an email here from Transforlife is the email uh, header. Uh, hey Matt, how you doing? I already have a Nikon D300. Do you think it's wise to switch to the Canon 80D or Nikon D7500? By the way, I'm more into photography than making movies, at least for now. Thank you. Well, thanks for your question. Interesting question. I used to have a pair of D300s back in the day. I shot weddings with them. Fantastic cameras. They were kind of like the uh, F100s of digital at the time in the sense that they were rock solid bodies. Um, they weren't the larger pro size bodies. So a lot of us liked them because they were still solid. They had a very good autofocus system. They had a 12 megapixel sensor, which at the time was a decent sensor. And that's kind of key to where I'm going with my answer for you. Great cameras, and it depends what you're feeling. Obviously, obviously, you're feeling you have a need or desire to upgrade, and it depends why. Because if the 300 is still doing mostly what you want, and you're just thinking, well, I just like a newer camera, well, not that that's not valid, but you might be a little disappointed. The 300 has a 12 megapixel APS-C sensor, DX in Nikon terms. The Both the 80D has a 24 megapixel sensor. I was going to say both, but the 7500 doesn't. It's a 20 megapixel sensor. So it is the same as the D500's sensor. Still a lot more megapixels, 20 versus 12, than what you're currently shooting with. But in this situation, the 80D is a little leg up. Now, I guess it depends. You say you're more into photography than making movies. So if you're not interested in movies, the 7100 or the 7200 would probably be a better deal for you because you're getting the 24 megapixel sensor top of its class. They are still class leading cameras, both of them. The big difference between the 72 and the 7100, as I've said before, is the 72 has a deeper shot buffer, a little bit more memory in that sense. So when you're shooting at higher shutter speeds, or not shutter speeds, <laughs> higher frames per second, uh, you can uh, keep shooting faster and longer without the uh, shot buffer filling up, filling up without the memory bricking up as it will. It's got to wait and then unload. That's the 7100. The 7200 fixed that. 7100 is still a great camera if you're not shooting sports or action or wildlife where you need that high frames per second and that deeper shot buffer, then you'd be totally happy with it. For instance, myself, um, when I was shooting more professionally, I did a lot of weddings and events, didn't really need a super, I was never a high frame rate guy, um, and portraits, which I don't need them for either. So 7100, great savings, and I would buy it over the 72. If you're shooting sports or wildlife, 7200, that faster frames per second may be what you want. 7500 is a great camera, but it's going to cost you more than, for instance, probably twice than a 7100. And unless you're really wanting something it excels at, movies, it's got 4K, or the little bit of higher ISO ability, although it's probably negligible once you um, look at the fact that that's 20 and the other one's 24. And if you downsize the 71 or the 7200 a little bit, it's probably going to be just about as clean in real world terms. Um, so I would either go... Um, the 71 or 7200. Unless you're thinking you want to future-proof yourself for video, in which case the 7500 is Nikon's best DX DSLR for video at the moment, without a doubt. It does 4K. It's got that nice sensor. It's better at high ISO. Uh, the ADD, great camera. The better video camera of the two. And if you're already invested in Nikon, then you might still want to use your Nikon uh, lenses and whatnot, depending on how heavily invested you are. But the ADD is a fantastic camera. And if you were just starting out and you thought you were going to do video and you wanted to do um, photography and you wanted a really good photo camera as well as a decent video camera, the ADD would be the way to go. The only flaw with the ADD is it doesn't do 4K. However, it does have beautiful dual pixel AF, and I really like the camera. So if you want to stay Nikon, I would suggest... Uh, the 7100 or the 7200 perhaps, if you're mostly photography. If you're trying to future-proof yourself for video, the 7500 is the best one to go with. And if you're looking at switching, nothing wrong at all with the 80D. Perhaps maybe consider the new mirrorless M50 too because you can use the entire lineup of Canon lenses with that adapter. And uh, it's a sweet little camera too. I really, really like it. Let me throw it back to you guys. What would you guys do in his situation? He's upgrading or he has a Nikon D300 looking at an 80D or 7500. As I said, I threw in the options of the 71 and the 72 Nikons. Uh, what would you guys do? Let us know in the comments below. What would you do and why? It's always great to hear from you guys. 
guys, help out our viewers, gives them a little bit more perspective, different opinions, and they can sort through it and helps them think out when they're making their purchasing decisions. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.